Hey! Welcome back to Tika's Trading Post, the only place for all your Star Wars news. Let's talk about it. Kicking off the Black Series news, we have a new leak coming from Yak Face. Yak Face actually first leaked this on Out of the Basement's stream on Sunday. There's gonna be a new member of Scar Squadron coming to the Black Series. And on the Andor Hype Wave, we do have three new Andor figures that were revealed this past week. Two are Walmart exclusives and one is a Target exclusive. The Target exclusive figure being the Imperial Officer Ferrix. And this figure looks super cool. I do love the Mud Trooper design for these figures and I'm really happy to have this one in a different coloration. And for the Walmart exclusives, the first one, we do get the Cassian Andor in Imperial disguise on the Aldori mission. I'm really excited to see how this plays out in the show, and I'm really excited to get another Cassian figure. And then finally, we have our Imperial officer from the Dark Times. Now, I do really like this figure. At first, I was worried that the sculpted cloak would hinder the movement of the arms, but actually uh, the cloak moves and it articulates so you can get those arms up and I think that's a super nice touch. I gotta say I'm really, really disappointed that these are Walmart and Target exclusives, so be sure to check out Return of the Nerd to get these figures in a way that's not so cringe, like trying to go through Walmart and not getting the figures, because that's happened to me time and time and time again. But if you still want to be a loser and get the figures through Target or Walmart, then the Target figures go up for pre-order on September 23rd, and the Walmart figures go up for pre-order on October 6th. Gamers, rise up! We got two new figures coming to the Gaming Greats line of the Black Series. We got a Battle Droid coming from Republic Commandos, and a Rocket Trooper coming from Jedi Fallen Order. Now I'm pretty sure that this new rocket launcher is actually a new mold, so that's pretty exciting. Both of these are going to be available for pre-order on September 15th on GameStop.com. And Yakface did point out on Instagram as well that we might have that Republic Commando Scorch figure finally coming, and as you can see on this battle droid box here, you can see the arm, which does look a little bit like a Republic Commando's arm, and the only one we have left is Scorch, so let's hope we get that last member of Delta Squad. In the way of Hot Toys news this week, we only got one piece, and it's actually the Hot Toys Reva! Yay! It comes with her dual-bladed lightsabers, and it comes with the cloak! that she wears when she goes to try to murder Luke Skywalker. Personally, I'm not too big of a fan of the- I mean, I'm a- I love this. I love this figure. And I, you, everybody should buy it. Let's talk about some pickups. So ever since I saw Rogue One in IMAX with Jacob and Jackson and our families, I have been stoked about it again. I've fallen in love with the movie once again like I did in high school. And I've been picking up all the new figures from Rogue One. So I did get Cassian Andor, Jin Erso, and Chirrut Imwe. I also picked up the Vintage Collection 332nd Ahsoka's Clone Trooper figure, and I think it looks absolutely god-awful. It's terrible, it sucks, and it's cringe. So for this week, I only have one pickup, and it happens to be the SH Figure Arts Han Solo. Now, don't get me wrong, I think this figure looks great. I think the face on it is way better than the Black Series, but I'm gonna keep it a buck fifty with y'all. Um, I'm, I don't like it that much, to be honest. I think... I don't know, it doesn't feel as solid as a Black Series figure. The posability is like, all right, like man, yeah, I got like a toe curve and stuff, but the guy I bought it from uh, told me uh, explicitly that this, the gun hand was broken, so he had glued it in place. So I was like, oh, okay, that's all right. I mean, it's not that, oh, there it goes. Well, I gotta glue that back on. But uh, speaking on that, the other hand fell off the second I got it out of the box. And it may or may not be Tommy's fault, but there's no proof. Except for Tommy was holding it when it fell off. So, um, but I guess I gotta glue this hand back on just like the other one. So overall, this figure's alright. I just was a little bit disappointed that he came Dooku-fied. But thank you all so much for watching this episode of Tika's Training Post. If you liked it, make sure that you subscribe and leave a comment down below as to what your pickups were this week. And if you liked this episode or not. Also, be sure to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, and join our Discord. We also have new merch available, so if you want some of that, make sure that you check it out in the description below. But with that, thank you all so much for watching this episode, and we will see you all next time. Goodbye, everybody! Bye. Woo!